please stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth to beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sambulin ang Panginoon, lagi nating pakinggan. Sino man at saan man, Lahat tayo ay magmahalan. Lahat tayo magmahalan. Panahon ng pandemya. The Lord is asking the people are suffering of pandemia, plague, fear, resentment, frustration. Whom will I send? At nag-iisang sumugot sa Isaiah. Here I am, the Lord, send me. Kasama kayo mga devoto sa Pilipinas at sa online. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. For the glory of God, we pray for our conversion. I confess. To Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Kindly say to your neighbor, you are for the glory of God. You, you are, are for the, the glory, glory of God. Pasalamatan ng Diyos, glory be. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. 
The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve for Saul, whom I have rejected as king of Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, for I have chosen my king from among his sons. But Samuel replied, How can I go? Saul will hear of it and kill me. To this the Lord answered, Take a heifer along and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I myself will tell you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I point out to you. Samuel did as the Lord had commanded him. When he entered Bethlehem, the elders of the city came trembling to meet him and inquire, Is your visit peaceful, O seer? He replied, Yes, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord, so cleanse yourselves and join me today for the banquet. He also had Jesse and his sons cleanse themselves and invite them to the sacrifice. As they came, he looked at Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is here before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not judge from his appearance or from his lofty stature, because I have rejected him. Not as man sees, does God see, because he sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and presented him before Samuel, who said, The Lord has not chosen him. Next, Jesse presented Shema, but Samuel said, The Lord had not chosen this one either. In the same way, Jesse presented seven sons before Samuel, but Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any one of these. Then Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Jesse replied, There is still the youngest, who is tending the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him. We will not begin the sacrificial banquet until he arrives here. Jesse sent and had the young man brought to them. He was ruddy, a youth, handsome to behold, and making a splendid appearance. The Lord said, There, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel, with the horn of oil in hand, anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. Then Samuel took his leave and went to Ramah. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I have found David, my servant. I have found David, my servant. Once you spoke in a vision, and to your faithful ones you said, On a champion I have placed a crown. Over the people I have set a youth. I have found David, my servant. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil, I have anointed him. 
that my hand may always be with him and that my arm may make him strong. I have found David, David my servant. servant. He shall say of me, You are my father, my God, the rock, my savior, and I will make him the firstborn, highest of the kings of the earth. I have yes, found David, David my, my servant. servant. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. O Lord. As Jesus was passing to a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read? what David did when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry how he went into the house of God when Abiatar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priest could lawfully eat and share it with his companions then he said to them the Sabbath was made for men not men for the Sabbath that is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath the Gospel of the Lord praise to, praise you, to you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ please be seated praise to you Lord sa ating mga commissionaries sa abroad sa Pilipinas Napakaganda ng topic sa buong taon. Ito yung binabalikan yung bakit tayo may pandemya. Dahil nga, today's reading identify for us different ways in which we can view reality. You may think anything. Bakit ganito ang buhay ko? Bakit may pandemya? At ang tema ng ating pag-uusapan ngayon, very interesting. Kaya mamaya, padala mo sa Bible, messenger. Kaya may pandemia, it's easy to see the exterior. It's easy to condemn than investigate in. Tingnan ng ating puso. When have we judge others by their exterior appearances? Tayo mismo, mula ng bata. Tumitingin tayo agad dun sa nakakaakit. Why do we become more concerned about the rules than the person? Sabado o yung kailangan ng tao? Alam naman natin yung Sabado na pagsamba ginawang linggo dahil yun ang araw na pinili ng Diyos, unang araw. Why is it more important to keep the law in my heart than to follow exterior demands? It's easy to condemn than investigate. Pero nung po man, bahagi ng civilization, ayun, kailangan ng lawyer, hindi pwedeng hearsay, irrelevant, immaterial, kailangan patunayan. At sinasabi din ng Panginoon, kailangan natin ng correction. Bakit ganito mag-judge ang tao? Eh parang nga, tawagan ng palsin, yung mga unproductive lives. 
parang bahagi ng ating baptism, purification ng ating buhay. At ito na nga, dito naghihiwala, yun na niniwala at mga hindi na niniwala. At in contrast to God's favor, ibang tumingin ang Diyos, ibang tao. Dahil ang tao, easy to see the appearance. Kaysa yung tinuturo ng Diyos, tingnan mo nga ng iyong puso. Kaya nung pumang, kahit religious sila nag-aral, hindi nila natutuhan nung ang tao and the world became flesh and dwelt among us at tinuruan tayo. Ang tunay, the truth will set you free. Da dapat, ang pananaw ay may efficiency, transparency, accountability. Ang professionalism may grasa ng Diyos at may integridad, may puso. Kaya nga, paghuhukong ng tao noon, ngayon sa darating, those who reject Jesus, Pero sa Diyos, tama ang kanyang paningin dahil sa kaibuturan. At yung una ni Lord, hindi kita pinili dahil ikaw ang the best, no? Out of million sperms, pinili ka. Out of trillions galaxy, ang pinili itong maliit na galaxy. Sa mga planeta na nakaikot sa araw, itong araw natin ang pinili at may pinagagawa sa iyo. Natatangi. Sa dinami-dami, iilan lang tayong pumunta rito. Dahil alam natin, hindi lang kailangan ng aking pamilya, kundi ng aking bayan at ng buong mundo. Kaya salamat Panginoon. Sa ganitong pananaw, alam naman natin may distraction kapag hindi malayo sa God's purpose. At alam natin may final judgment yung ating panghusga sa ating panahon. Kaya... Kung titingin ka sa appearance, tanong, andito ba yung God's standards kaysa sa standard ng society? Yung bang pagtingin mo sa iyong kapwa ay meron bang nakakasustain ba o gusto mo lang yung panglabas na solusyon? Minsan, para tayong nag-usap ang dalawa, tinignan yung negative ng iba, parang sinasabi nilang, alam nila ang solusyon. Na, nagsasabi ang pulso, o tanungin mo rin ng Panginoon, ano ang kanyang pananaw? Hindi natin alam kung sino ang pupunta sa kaharian, may, pero may mga warning tayo. We can judge others' salvation. Mababago lang natin ang ating sarili, dahil alam na natin yung gusto ko, hindi natin magawa, yung ayaw natin, siya natin ginagawa. Sino magliligtas? Kaya, sa pag natin mamaya, Sana, Lord, Ikaw ang humipo sa bawat isa. Sana naroon ang aming mercy and compassion and forgiveness. First, huwag sana kaming madaling mga sa mga nangyayari sa aming pamilya, sa aming bayan. At uh, salamat, Panginoon, at hinihiling namin ang dalangin ni Mama Mary, mga propeta, Mama Mary, kindly increase our faith, that we may always strive to listen God's thoughts and follow His divine will, not our human will. Lord, sana sa pag-uwi namin mamaya at kung kami natutulog, makita namin. Sabi nga ng Panginoon, isipin mo yung katapusan para huwag kang tumitingin sa panlabas ng tao. Sa pag-uwi mamaya, sana Lord, I said, I am not afraid to be criticized. I am not afraid to be corrected. Sa Facebook pa lang, makita na natin. Napakarami na. Puro negative. At uh, salamat naman kung we go beyond. Tulad ng pagkawag kay David, da, magbigay, bi, nagbibigay buhay. Pinili siya, siyang bunso. Parang tulad mo, tulad natin. Ordinary, hidden, unknown. Hindi na pa... Hindi napapansin, pero alam niyo ang iyong puso at yan ang yaman mo habang nagdarasal ka rito. At muling panawagan ni Pope Francis, ito yung nagdarasal ka, inaalay ina mo ang dugot, pag-ibig ni Jesus. E ganoon din ang mga propeta, ang mga bishop o pari, iyalay mo siya, 
Dahil pandemya, sin is not an illusion but a reality. You may think anything. Ano ba itong salitang ito, mga pinapaliwanag na ito? Para saan ito? Twelve pastors in our conversion, bago-baguhin ang iba. Tigilin na natin, o bawasan, with the help of the Holy Spirit, it's easy to condemn than investigate. Pero ang yaman ng tao ay tulad ng kung sino man ang baby, sino man ang abandonado sa bahay, sino man ang mga hindi napapansin. Ayun ang pagpapala ng Diyos, ang judgment ng Panginoon. Doon siya nananahan. Manalangin po tayo. Christ liberated us from the destructive powers of evil. Let us pray to God our Father who has called all His sons and daughters to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. Sasagot tayo yung Lord of the Sabbath, bless us. Lord, Lord of, of the, the Sabbath, Sabbath, bless us. us. That Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and ways to serve God and people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the Sabbath, bless us. That legislators everywhere may make laws that are humane and serve the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the Sabbath, bless us. That we may never put law above people, but practice first the great commandment of loving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the Sabbath, bless us. That those who are worried of their sickness may find consolation and strength from those who care for them and love them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the Sabbath, bless us. That eternal rest be upon our beloved dead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the Sabbath, bless us. We pray for those who express acts of love and care for others, especially the medical and health care practitioners who dedicate their lives in the service of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the Sabbath, bless us. We pray for the urgent concerns of the community, the online prayer requests, and the intentions offered in this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the Sabbath, bless us. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions. Lord God, bless our devotees so abroad at the Pilipinas. Let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters with mercy and compassion, to understand and to respect, to guide and be guided, all for your honor and glory. In Jesus' name, with the Holy Spirit, one in love, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Kunin mo, O Diyos, at tanggapin mo ang aking kalayaan, ang aking kalooban, ang isip at gunita ko. Lahat ng hawak ko, lahat ng loob ko, Lahat ay aking alay sa iyo. Mula sa iyo ang lahat ng ito. Muli kong handog sa iyo. At nubayan mo't paghari ang lahat. Ayon sa kalooban mo, magutos ka, Panginoon ko, dagling tatalima ko. Ipagkaloob mo lamang ang pag-ibig. At lahat at talik 
Danku. Eastern. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's love offering for the poor, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just privilege, duty, and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the peace of this all filled mystery of love, Though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time, so that, raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call his strange humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so, with all angels and martyrs, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Until you come again, we proclaim your death, O Lord. In memory of his suffering, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Heavenly Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity for the poor. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose Cardinal Binkle, our bishop and all the clergy, and your presence here, so abroad at the Filipinas, as you lift up all your intentions and supplications and thanksgivings. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Purify their souls for the glory of God the Father. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostle Saint Jude Tadeus, and all angels, saints, and martyrs who preach you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 The prayer of our Lord Jesus for the conversion of sinners and blessing for all our loved ones wherever they are. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you, always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you sa lahat po peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the humble presence of the Lord, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only, only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. For those who are unable to receive the Holy Communion, we pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Ikaw na, Panginoon, ang humipo 
sa mga devotees natin na sana magpadala ng turong sa mga bulag handicap sa ating apostolate. All for your honor and glory in Jesus' name with the Holy Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and all your beloved ones wherever they are, especially your little ones in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and not the hour of our death. Amen. Pakisabi sa iyong katabi, the Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you and all your loved ones in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to share the hope and joy of the kingdom of love. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Dasalin po natin for the Horatio Imperata. Sana matanggal na ang pandemia. Merciful, po ang kamay. Merciful, Merciful and, and compassionate, compassionate Father, we, we come to you in our need, need to seek your, your protection against, against the COVID-19 COVID virus, virus that has disturbed, disturbed and even, even claimed, claimed lives. lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calunzon, Pray for us. The 14 Holy Helpers. Pray for us. St. Jude Thaddeus. Pray for us. Prayer of St. Gertrude. Prayer for the souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses offered throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the Universal Church, those in our homes and within our families, in Jesus' name, Amen. Kanan Dios at mga mahal mo sa buhay. Shesha, salamat po sa lahat ng devotees, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.